schedule, but like TikTok, TikTok definitely solves everybody's problems. I don't follow you on TikTok, problem. but on TikTok, yeah. I saw that. Huh. Welcome back. Y'all look different. And you don't. Right. No growth at all. Science is such a wonderful subject with opportunities around every corner to explore, experiment, and investigate. Hey, um, we're over here, not over there. A lot of your teachers will call these activities labs. But a lab, as many of you know, isn't just an activity. It's a place. Um, who are they? <laughs> All right. Welcome Gerardo Cortez and Lisa Pham. Um, but we're your favorite students. Favorite is a stretch. Oop. A big stretch. I always wonder why there were like two students in here. Yeah, I just thought they needed uh, extra help. Sir, don't, don't do that. Yeah, it's your first day. Cal calm that down. Calm all of that down. So, are y'all on TikTok? What? Is Drake my yeah. What's what what on, on TikTok? TikTok? Any setting or space that is designed for scientific experiments, research, or teaching is a lab. But please understand, there are a lot of things that can happen, good and bad. Let's talk about them. Rule number one, follow instructions. This is one of the best ways to be safe in a lab. Just follow instructions. Whether these are the instructions printed on equipment, instructions printed in a manual or procedure, or instructions given by your teacher, written or verbally. Follow instructions and ask questions if something isn't clear. This step is crucial and can honestly prevent a lot of the other things we're going to talk about. There is laid. Look at this volume. Oh, get into this. Hi, haters. Mm. I'm not going to the Dominicans next time. Oh. Tie up loose, low-hanging hair and avoid wearing loose clothing in the lab. And make sure you know where all of the safety equipment is located in your lab. Hey Lisa, can you give me some chips out of that green book bag right there? Lisa, isn't her name Lisa? Her name is not Lisa. Yes, it is. Oh, my bad, Lisa. You all right? Keep all areas in the lab clean, clear, free of debris and personal items. This way, we can make sure that nothing, or no one, is damaged or hurt. Please don't wear open-toed shoes, high heels, or any type of clothing that exposes your body and makes you prone to injury in the lab. Hey, um... If you mess up my book bag, you owe me another one. We're not even supposed to have those in school. What are you talking about? All right, uh, move your foot. I need to pick up this glass. Oh, um, where does the minions go? Like, we not, we all in here by ourselves. Every day. Oh, you haven't even seen the worst of it. I mean, you Excuse me, Lisa. Lisa. Never pick up broken glass with your bare hands. Use a broom or ask an adult for assistance. And never throw it away in the regular trash can. There's probably a container designated for broken glassware. Or again, ask an adult for assistance. Thongs? Who needs thongs? I peeked up much less. Trying to be cute, you don't get burnt up. Right, I'm telling you. Hey! Man, why well, I gotta wear goggles? You're not even doing anything with chemicals. <laughs> Use all tools and protective wear as directed. We don't care if you think it isn't hot. We don't care if the goggles don't look cool or the apron doesn't match your outfit. It's to protect you from potential harm and to protect those around you from harm. If you handle any chemical, Refrain from touching your skin or eyes until you thoroughly wash your hands. 
If doused with a chemical or it gets in your eyes, use the eye wash station or the lab shower. Ammonia, that's the stuff my mom uses when we clean up, right? Let me see. Lisa, I don't want shit that I asked you to get early. Lisa, Lisa, I know you hear me. Handling different materials, whether they are chemicals or not, requires focus and attention. Do not eat or drink in the lab. You could cross-contaminate materials, accidentally ingest something, leave the area or materials dirty, and no matter how hungry you get, do not taste or sniff any chemical or any other materials. If you must smell something, please waft. To maintain a safe lab environment, everyone has to follow rules. Your teachers too. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos, labs, and lessons. Take care. Tonight on Channel 2 Action News, an Orane County science teacher has been put on leave without pay after several students were hospitalized after he left them unattended in a science lab. A young woman suffered scalp burns, another young woman a broken foot, another temporarily blinded. Parents are angry and are standing outside of the school and they want answers. Here's Leon with the story. Kelly, we are outside of Grady Memorial Hospital here with one of the students. She says that this teacher would leave the classroom from about 30 minutes to sometimes an hour.